What is up, YouTube, and welcome to another Grim's Out Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Long time. No. Voice over. Welcome to another Grim's Out Excursion. KZE, at what age can I start teaching my puppy tricks? Can you teach us the way on how crypto is so obedient? The sooner you start teaching your dog tricks, the better. If you guys need a specific month, three months is perfect. Start training them at three months. You wanna get them accustomed to how you want them to behave at a very young age. I'm gonna go over the most basic training tricks you can teach a dog. Of course, the most effective way to always train a dog would have to be to take them to a professional dog trainer. But if you're looking to train your dog yourself, this video will be extremely helpful. The most handy thing you will need, your dog's attention. Some people say that you should reward your dog with affection, and that is true. Treats are a really nice way to condition them when they do what you want. Always start off with dog treats. I have his full attention with these dog treats. I find these kibble type treats to be most effective. What's the most important dog trick your dog should learn? The sit command. In order to do a lot of these tricks, you will need a treat in your hand. In order to get your dog to sit, grab a treat in your hand and elevate the treat slightly higher than their nose so they're looking up at the treat, like so. Hold the treat elevated and as soon as they sit down, reward them. When you're first starting off a trick, you don't want to repeat the command often since they don't know what the word means. When they do what you want, immediately say the command and reward them. Sit, good boy. I repeat, do not repeat the command. That's it for the sit command. Just elevate the treat. Your dog will eventually tire out and sit down. And when they do, congratulate them. Good boy. Oh, look at this one, it's flat. Second most important command, I believe, would have to be the heel command. This trick can be extremely helpful with the husky if you're trying to walk them. Since these dogs love to pull, it, it could be really beneficial to have your dog right next to you. In order to get your dog to heal, all you have to do with the treat in your hand, Whip the treat around, creating a circle so your dog could position themselves to the left of you. The reason it's to the left, it's simply because that's show dog material. So, we're gonna whip it. Good boy. When the dog positions themselves facing forward, if they don't fully position themselves, if they go kind of crooked like this, stop, reposition yourself, and repeat the command. Oh, good boy. Heel. Good boy. Heal. Sit. After your dog has mastered healing and staying on the left, you could get them to sit or you could get them to walk off with you. He didn't position himself right, so I'm just gonna stop, not reward him, and do it again. If they're constantly not straight forward to the left of your side, that just means you have to make a wider circle when you're guiding them. Try making a wider circle. Constantly reward your dog for any positive behavior they do. All these commands, of course it matters if you're in a controlled environment or if the environment is completely uncontrolled. If you're in an uncontrolled environment, your dog will most likely not have your attention as well. As far as how often you should train your dog and how long you should train them keep the training sessions short anywhere from five to seven minutes and as many sessions as you'd like is perfectly fine just make sure the dog training is enjoyable for both you and your dog but treats makes that pretty easy let's give you guys a different angle The third command, the stay command. Get your dog in the sit position and constantly reward them. Good boy. Good boy. They're gonna be thinking, I'm doing something right by just sitting. That's when you introduce the command, stay. Good boy. Slowly start getting further and further. The key here is that you have to constantly keep rewarding them for just sitting. Your dog's gonna realize that the traits are gonna come to him. That's what you want. Keep 
walking up to your dog and rewarding them. The next command you can teach your dog is the leave it command. This one's pretty simple. Grab a treat in your hand. Your dog will most likely lunge forward. If they lunge forward, pull your hand out and just reset your hand. <coughs> Slowly approach your dog with the treat. If they lean forward, pull out. When your dog st stops impulsing and jumping to grab the treat, that's when you can start lowering the treat to the ground. Same thing here, slowly drop the treat and if your dog lunges forward, just reset. Leave it. As you can see Crypto already knows, leave it, no. If they lunge forward before it touches the ground, Remove the treat. Get it. Good boy. Another nice trick is the down command. Cuff a tree in your hand and just wait for your dog to go down. And as soon as they lay down, reward them. Go ahead now. Good boy. The next command would have to be speak. In order to get your dog to bark or speak, position the tree elevated higher than their face and just wait for them to make any sudden noise. Any little puff like that is perfectly fine. Reward them and introduce the command. Good. Soon as they make any noise, just reward them. It could be a whine, it could be anything. A whine can turn into a bark. Oh, good boy. Good. Speak. Speak. Speak! Good. <laughs> the next command and the final command, the paw command. Take your hand and massage your dog's paw. Just play with your dog's paw. They'll eventually hand you their paw and then just introduce the command. Mm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Pretty much all the tips I have on all the tricks. Oh boy. How old is she? It's only two months. She's two months. Oh, stay. Stay with me. Oh, oh, girl. Come and stay. Oh. Does she have her shots yet or not? Yeah, she only yeah? has the first uh, round and then she's waiting for the second one. <laughs> so you like your dog? Huh? How you like it? He's nice. Yeah? He escape. He he tries to escape sometimes. Oh really? Yeah. They're very, very um, Sit down. See. Alex, get over here. Okay, just pet him right there on the Sit. head, okay? Oh, there you go. On the head. Like that. <laughs> see how beautiful he is? What's her name? Kiki. Kiki? Uh-huh. What's your uh, His name? name's Crypto. Crypto. Sit down, Crypto. Sit. Good oh boy. Stay. Okay. It's okay. Stay. It's okay. She got scared already. <laughs> Come on. It's okay. You're fine. You're That's fine. Your, that's your future sugar daddy, baby. It's okay, Kiki. You're fine. Mm -hmm. No worries. You're fine. Yeah, look. You're fine. Daddy. That's okay. Who's that, Crypto? <laughs> it's pretty active, right? Yeah, he's active. Yeah. I run them a lot though. Yeah, how many times during the day? Just the ones, just once a day. Oh, okay, once a day. But he makes a lot of mess in the back. Nah, yeah. sit yeah. down, sit. Well, you got him when he was a puppy, he was making? Nah, not really, no. No, this one. Is she alone? So, yeah. yeah, she's oh, alone. Yeah. With our cat though, they feel nice. Yeah, but the problem is she's, you know, showing everything she Yeah. She's an outside or inside? Well, we try to keep her outside and inside, so we try to manage. It's hard. It's a lot of work. Yeah. He's pulling you around with that, right? Yeah, he does. What do you got that harness? I like that harness. Oh, someone sent it to me. Oh, really? Yeah. I think it's like 70 bucks. <laughs> oh. It's not aggressive. I like him. Oh, he's pretty dominant. Yeah. Kick it. Stay. Stay. It's okay. Who's that? Who's that? It's okay. She got scared. 
That's the only dog you have? No, I have two chihuahuas. Oh, okay. Two little chihuahuas. Get along? I'll right. see you later. Yeah. You too. I like the idea he's taking you around. Oh, thanks, man. Feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Snapchat at KZE underscore production.